if you look on this side of the boat, that is um, Arda Glass. They're a glass recycler. And it is an industry that our community has had some serious concerns about for several decades now. EPA measured Arda as one of three low volume air polluters accounting for 90% of Seattle's toxic air emissions. We launched a campaign called the Justice Forward Campaign and that's partnering with groups on the ground across the country to convene stakeholders, have these briefings, and take the opportunity to really uplift the community solutions that groups like the Duwamish River Community Coalition have been um, working on and engaging through community input, you know, for decades in some cases. That I'm really thankful for today. When we think about environmental justice and when we started, it wasn't anywhere near to where we are right now. The concept of environment, acknowledging the whales, which are important too, but that environmental piece is not more because we are acknowledging also our human life. So we're talking about people's lives. So we're talking about uh, breaking that um, life discrepancy difference of 13 years with one communities and the others. We're talking 2023 and we're still discussing what are we going to do to improve the environment to make people live healthy. So we have this historic opportunity where there's tons of funding coming in. Now there's, you know, federal directive that funding should be going to communities like the one that we're talking about today. Um, but there isn't necessarily all the systems in place to ensure that the communities are prepared, the local governments are prepared, um, especially because um, a, the majority of these funds um, federally will be coming down through the states. So we need to ensure that everyone at the state level also knows about Justice 40. We're talking about big pictures, right? Like, how, how do we um, make more community uh, participatory research? How do we bring more trees? How do we like, you know, include air mo more air monitoring to have more data? But also thinking about community owned spaces. How do we create resilience hubs, like climate resilience hubs where community can come and, and when a flooding that, for example, just happened in South Park, how do we bring community in or, or a heat center where when, when there is a heat here in the valley, you know, we're being impacted by all that as being a valley. So how, how do we bring community shared spaces that we can all can collaborate as community? as well as change regulations as uh, legis improve legislation to protect better the communities impacted.